Okay, this is a quick review of the PV Pro app that connects to my inverter. So I'm just going to show you guys a few statistics here. Uh, you'll see I'm generating uh, 6 kilowatts of power right now. Everything is normal. Okay, this is how many kilowatts I generated yesterday. Yeah, 39.6 kilowatts of power. Uh, these couple days right here on the 23rd and 24th, I only had 6 panels running because I had some wiring issues. And so far today, uh, we've generated 7.5 kilowatts. So let's go over to the plant. Here you'll see my inverter here. Six kilowatts of power coming in right now. You'll see that's coming in from solar here, going to the inverter, and then going over to the house. And this is the grid showing I'm pulling zero watts. So what I'm using, 1.3 kilowatts, but producing six, the rest of that is going to my battery bank and charging it. The battery bank powers the house at night so that I'm not using grid power. I'm using the overages generated during the day. And then once I have my grid tied uh, meter installed sometime this week, excess power, once the battery is full, will be pumped back into the grid and I'll get paid um, eight cents per kilowatt hour, uh, one to one. But if I start producing more, then I'm using that only pays uh, 3.5 cents per kilowatt hour. So this is my power generation here on the daily. You'll see that the battery here where it was using it, this is midnight and this is 10 a.m. So for the last 10 hours, you'll see the blue lines where the battery is being used. These little uh, pops are when my AC was kicking on and, and other things. And then you'll see here, when the battery drops into the negative space, that's when it's charging. So you can see as the as the sun is coming up, these green lines are the panels generating more power and charging the battery. So this is the last six days of, well, seven days, last week of power generation. Um, of course, these days over here, I wasn't using, um, I didn't have any solar hooked up and the battery wasn't being used, but the inverter was connected. And then starting right here on the 23rd is when I first put six panels on. And then you'll see some of the, uh, you'll see how much the power I've used has dropped over these days all the way over here to when I only used 23.4 kilowatts. My average is somewhere around 108 kilowatts per day. So that just what I have alone is going to drop with the current sun and temperature outside, which is pretty mild for air conditioning and things this time of year. Uh, you'll see that I will, I've already dropped my bill down 75%, you know, minus taxes, fees and meter uh, charges and things of that nature. And this is showing this output here is just showing how much I've generated today, how much I've generated in the month. Ever in total, of course, this is all going to be the same numbers until next month and next year. Um, but this will keep up with my total generation ever. And this is showing my current power input, how much I generated today, how much is coming in on each of my NPT ports. And then this down here is showing my solar generation and the times that it started. So you can see I started pulling in a little bit of solar right before 7 a.m. and then by 10 to 10 30 it's uh it's getting really good numbers and this is the battery chart showing that i was pulling from the battery starting at midnight and then it ran it down to 25 percent and then it was using grid but it didn't start charging it until the sun came up and it was charging it with the solar panels while the panels were powering the house